In this short demonstration, we'll go through the TruckMate GeoTab integration. And this integration, we'll start by talking a little bit about the TruckMate solution. We'll go into a little bit about how the TruckMate solution integrates with GeoTab, as well as talk about how you'd go about the next steps of rolling out the TruckMate solution. So just a brief background on TruckMate. Uh, TruckMate is a TMW product. Uh, it's just one of the products similar to TMW Suite. Uh, TL2000 and a number of other TMW products. So this in this demonstration we'll simply be talking about the TruckMate integration and TruckMate solution. Um, not going into too much detail around TruckMate because there's plenty of uh, material out there. But TruckMate really handles the full life cycle of managing uh, your, your customers from uh, dispatching, um, checking up on loads, invoicing, uh, as well as some internal business processes for payroll uh, and managing drivers. Uh, which you can kind of read up in a, a little bit more detail. Um, so why did we decide to integrate with TruckMate? Um, since TruckMate is used by some of the largest trucking companies out there, uh, it just kind of makes sense to build a solution with um, the largest telematics solution out there, which is GeoTab. Um, and GeoTab has a great product uh, for hours of service and driver vehicle inspection no known as GeoTab Drive. And TruckMate is just a module that fits within there. Uh, so it's just one application that drivers can go to to easily manage their uh, dispatches, their hours of service, and vehicle inspection reporting. So that's really what the motivation of building the TruckMate add-in into GeoTab Drive was. Um, the nice thing is also that it's an Android-based application or Android or iPhone. So you simply need to download the app off the player app store and then uh, engage us to help kind of get the setup between GeoTab Drive and TruckMate going. Um, GeoTab Drive, a little bit about GeoTab Drive, it is uh, compliant uh, FMCSA with ELD mandates um, including personal conveyance and a number of the other regulations that have come out in uh, in, in last December here. Um, so it's a nice full featured HOS DVR solution. Uh, talking a little bit about the TruckMate and GeoTab features. Um, the features include uh, customer zone syncing, sending load offers directly from TruckMate into GeoTab Drive in the form that you have designed in TruckMate, as well as doing any real-time status updates where the drivers complete the forms and those updates go back into TruckMate. So very simple and but a very a powerful integration. So talking a little bit about how it looks, and I'll go in through a live demonstration here, but it is simply a module that fits directly into the GeoTab Drive application, as, sh as shown here. And you would click on there uh, to open up your loads. So just kind of changing gears here, you would see this is a kind of a live emulation of the app. And you can see I have HOS, DVR, messages, and any other modules you can add into GeoTab Drive. And that's one thing that we uh, really do really well at is building integrations. And TruckMate was certainly um, a big integration for us to build uh, here. So you can see, uh, just clicking on the as a driver, I can see the loads I have, load offers I have today. So my schedule for today. Um, so this is just a, a demo account, and I'll show you also the TruckMate side of things. But pretty much here's my freight bill number, my um, uh, what type of stop it is, is it a pickup or a delivery, as well as the location of the customer, uh, time window where I need to arrive by, and the current status of, of, the, of the jobs. Now I can also show completed job uh, load offers if I have any for today, but um, I don't, don't have any, right? So the system automatically updates uh, the load offers that you ha see here, and the drivers are constantly getting updates, not having to click on refresh. Uh, in the app, there's also in-app notifications where when there's a new load offer, the driver will be notified of a new load offer, uh, just like you would get a notification of a new email on your app. So it's very um, simple and driver-friendly. When they do arrive at a site, you would get an arrival notification where the driver can simply uh, mark that they've arrived or not arrived at that location. And I'll go into this in a little bit more detail. It's a little harder to simulate here in this simulation since we're um, not technically, not don't have a driver here uh, right now driving on the road and completing these load offers. But this is kind of a, just a general summary of the workflow. So clicking in, I can then go into a page which gives me a, my load offer information. And then on, uh, I would mark arrive pickup, arrive depart pickup or arrive delivery, depart delivery, 
and also then I could complete my uh, pickup forms right associated with that job so seeing that here uh, I can simply click on I'm uh, right now in currently in arrive pickup state right and you can see I can't click on that again so it is tr forces some logic here um, and this is some details again this is our sandbox environment so this would look exactly uh, in the format you've set up and your forward forms in truckmate so this would have any number of fields that you would like desire to see um, and you can see there's some nice uh, driver functions such as the map uh, or making a, a call which call allows you to call the customer uh, if, if all those details are available there for, for the driver. Um, and then I can go back home here as well. So just some basic features, but you know, really quite easy to use. And I'll kind of show you. So wh let's say, let's just kind of go in and have a look at this. This is uh, trip number 216. Uh, having a look at that here in TruckMate. I'm on the dispatch module in TruckMate. And let's look at 216. So I can see the the trip right here uh, for this. So I'm going to just open up customer service here just to show you that um, for this trip. And we can have a look at the current status on this trip. So the current status should be under arrive pickup state. So let's see, uh, arrive sh they call it arrive ship. So it's, so it's currently in that state. Um, so let's update this again. So going into here, depart pickup and I should see the depart pickup and I would just click on refresh and you can see it's now changed to depart ship right so the status is updating directly into truckmate um, if I have any notes or any other fields that I'm associating with a form uh, they do get populated based on the, the forms that you have fill, filled out like so who's it signed by and this could be a number of different um, whatever fields that you have defined for the driver to pick up pick up you can um, you can complete that um, you know uh, you can pick uh, picked up and, and you can see here whatever custom fields you have you can apply that and simply you click on submit and within the app you would have that completed so this would be showing the completion here as well so it's once it's done it's off the list uh, and now you can see I still have I've done the pickup but I still have a delivery here um, on this so I've the, the, the pickup has been completed it's cleared off my list but I still have the delivery to complete so um, I can actually look at that um, but again so you've con uh, gone in here you see depart shipper um, now if I want to complete the delivery let's just 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 skip over a, a couple of these now just important to remember this would be optimized in the format that has been optimized within truck uh, truckmate with the optimizer so going into the delivery side of things uh, I'm going to do uh, arrive delivery and you know, let's look at this again and again you'll see arrive consignee which we'll call also del arrive delivery and depart delivery and again you can see pretty much when so I've then uh, depart delivery I've kind of more or less completed it again and again your workflows can be set up the way you wish to have them set up uh, the status changes are also uh, have some macros to find behind it within TruckMate so uh, that's part of our um, process in helping you get s set up and going with TruckMate um, uh, signed by John right and then you can just probably more or less submit that right um, so those are kind of the, that's kind of the workflow for drivers, and you can see both ends. I've kind of shown you here in terms of how that works between TruckMate. Um, this is a mobile application, so you can simply download the application. Um, this is kind of branded for our customer themselves, but we can have that available to you in your branding as well. For for it is a separate application, but typically customers go uh, use it within Geotype Drive so that they can ha utilize that. So Geotype Drive again, you can simply download off the Play Store, and it's freely available to download um, uh, if you're using that. Right. So what are the competitive advantages against PeopleNet, Qualcomm, and OmniTracks? One is the arrival notifications are extremely uh, accurate as well as timely so our system is updating at a second by second interval so as soon as they arrive at that location they get those notifications the whole process is an interview format so the drivers will be followed and helped along the process making it very easy for them um, 
and you can get a map view of the statuses which I can kind of show you uh, there's a whole geotab uh, side of things but here what are the minimum requirements first you need a truck made 2014 or above you need a mobile communication API enabled so that's something that you can request from your team but if you're using a solution already like uh, Qualcomm or PeopleNet you may already you more than likely already have that enabled so it'd just be for us uh, just enabling another network to connect uh, our uh, solution to it um, and again, uh, just some comments on the actual applications. You know, we recommend Android devices five and above, which is roughly uh, anything more than likely a you know 2014 or newer phones. Uh, but you can double check those uh, cr those uh, those credentials there. Um, well, just have to have the devices, Go devices installed on the devices uh, on the vehicles as well. Uh, what do we do with helping you get started? So it's a we we like to take a very careful and approach in helping you get things uh, going. So we, we'd say the typical onboarding pro, uh, timeline is about two to four weeks and in that timeline we would look at uh, your current uh, Truckmate solution and how you wish to use it um, or if you're already using Truckmate kind of review your current workflow and more or less match or enhance how you're doing things. Uh, then we would look at uh, helping, uh, we would need access to your system so we can help kind of set up a environment for us to more or less allow you to test it uh, with your drivers or um, if that's something different from what you're currently uh, using. Uh, if it's a new process we we always recommend testing and, and rolling it out. Uh, and then we would perform training with your team uh, including your dispatchers and drivers um, or just training your your main dispatchers and who then can train the drivers. Um, we have some future features that we will be enabling um, which are trip process um, progress um, having a view of that right on your on your on your on, on geotab where you can see the trip and where they are in the leg of the trip although um, truckmate already tells you wh where that is so that uh, but just giving you that within the telematics component um, also setting up some behavior status updates um, so we're going to add more rules that might uh, trigger um, exceptions for example um, or such as stopped it too long at a customer that'll drive an update back to truckmate as well um, we're doing uh, also looking at truck navigation so we're adding truck navigation into the application uh, that's something that we're doing here um, and a number of other things such as uh, hours of rem remaining so we're pushing hours remaining back to truckmate so you know that um, I shouldn't be dispatching more jobs because there's no more hours remaining for that driver. So those are just some some small features um, that we will be adding uh, in addition to what I've shown you. Uh, we do have a complete Truckmate integration guide and we go through a careful implementation process which we're kind of highlighting here. Um, but if you have any more questions, um, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, it's support at zenduit.com uh, and we'd be more than happy to uh, assist you. Um, all right. Well, that's it for this demonstration, and um, we'll be happy to answer any other questions. Again, it's support uh, at zenduit.com. All right. Thanks.